welcome back to my channel okay so we got three pals today right uh we have a let's do my roll open a candle for pal c let's do my i don't know i need to make some more candles I was out of candles. I got a money candle for pal C. And a sexual healing candle for pal. One, what did I name this? Please me daddy. Okay. I'm high y'all. Don't don't judge me. Judge yourself. Okay. Pick the path that best resonates with you. Make sure you go with your first mind because your first mind is your best mind. I'm on Instagram, TikTok. Patreon, all of those beautiful things. I have three questions for $20 on my website. Thank you guys for your support, truly. <laughs> and let's get started. Hi, pal one. What are you doing today? How are you feeling? Who are you going to marry? Um, What's the question? What do you need to know about your marriage? What do you need to know about this marriage, honey? Some of us want longevity, and this is the reading for you. Oh, you're going to be confident in this marriage. You're going to be um, glowing, beautiful, sexy, very attractive. It's going to be a lot of love. I feel like you guys are going to have the type of relationship where you guys are going to have to build together. Oh, okay. It's going to be a lot of love. It's going to be a lot of dating. It's going to be a lot of socializing. This person is going to keep you feeling balanced. This person is going to be very romantic as well. But honestly, um, I feel like you probably went through a period of singlehood and maybe having some heartbreak and needing to heal, having some time to yourself, maybe building on your wealth. And maybe right now you're at a period of waiting for your person. You're waiting. You're definitely waiting. Not a lot of movement. I feel like you're just probably... Maybe you're lighting candles. I do have love candles on my website, thelovemealways.com. So if you're interested in burning some candles, you know, helping that intention. Because it 100% is saying that you are in the hermit mode. You got the four of swords and the hermit. You're in some type of mode of like... I hope you're praying. I, I hope you're saying your affirmations. I hope you're visualizing. I hope you're asking for what you want. I hope you're figuring out in this time of healing, this time of peace, this time of understanding. Because this is what you need to be doing is meditating and trying to get some understanding. Figuring out your next step. Figuring out what you have in front of you. This card, I really like this card because if it was up to me, right? If I had to go to the store and this was me, but you know, a black girl, of course. I would choose money, wealth, and a house. Of course, this, like passion, you know, I need some dick too. But you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I will make my choices, but I'm very sure about what I want. And I feel like this is the energy that you need to be in. You need to be very sure about what you want right now. You have this energy of a glow. In your marriage, you're going to be confident because you created it. Honestly. Um, I feel like you need to get out the house more. It just seems like you're really in an energy of suspension, an energy of hesitation. You are just trying to get more answers. And I understand that. And then that's when your king is going to come or your queen or whoever you are uh, attracting. You might have some type of intuitive link with this person. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, You're giving birth to your reality. You're going to manifest your marriage. You're going to be the one who manifests it. Oh, look, that looks blurry. There you go. You're going to be the one that creates it, give, gives birth to this energy. So stay in a very playful, balanced, joyful energy. Hmm. Some of you guys are going to move. Some of you guys are going to move and that's probably going to help with your love life. But 
honestly, I feel like an opportunity is coming towards you that is sent from heaven. This is going to be a divine, a divine union, a divine union, something that you create. This is the nine of cups. The nine of cups is the card of wish fulfillment. Ask and you shall receive and be at peace with what you receive because you knew what you asked for. Be careful with what you ask for. That's why this is such an important time for you to sit back and decide on what you really want. Even I want you to write this shit down too. I want you to write it down because you're in the energy of creation. Stay hopeful, stay peaceful, peaceful, girl. Stay peaceful. Honestly, I want you to stay peaceful because I want you to trust that you're being led to where you need to be. Okay, let me let me get out of this energy. You're being led, Eight of Cups, you're being led. Trust me, you're, you're figuring this shit out. Okay, so you're figuring out. Okay, this is wonderful. Girl, that's taking all day. That's taking all day. We figured that out. Beautiful, I love it. Now, is it this deck right here? Yes or no? Okay, I'll use it. So now... This marriage, right? Because that's what we're here for. Tell me about the journey. Tell me about the journey to the marriage. The journey to marriage. How is, how is your married life going to be? I think that's what I'm going to name this. Your married life. Mm. I feel like once you start scripting, writing down what you want. Once you start practicing gratitude, once you start understanding what you want, resolving probably past family trauma, resolving stress, not feeling judgment on oneself, change will be in the air. Change will happen. Change will happen. Change will happen. Once you really look, what, decide what you really want, right? Once you decide what you really want, okay? Okay. And work on... Okay, so you got a lot of work to do. God damn it. I'm trying to get to your marriage, but you have shit to do before you possibly even meet this person, honestly. And I am not going to be the tarot reader that's going to lie to you and tell you that... The world is wonderful and people, everybody is just, has the best intentions for you. I'm not going to, I'm a Scorpio. I, I kind of, I got to really, I'm a focused look. I'm, I'm understanding my shadow self and I have a lot of Scorpio energy. It's very strong, child. It's, it's intense. And I just don't see the rainbows and everything. But you, you just got work to do and it's nothing wrong with this work. This work is actually... Once you start understanding what you want and understanding that you create it and then seeing your creations, you're going to become so fucking powerful because it's nothing going to be in your way. Once you start declaring things like this is mine, thank you for this because I know it's coming and being sure, <laughs> understanding your lessons, having understanding, having this knowledge. Is going to help you to go in the direction. Oh, this is why you're right here. Uh, okay. Spirit says that we can't make you do things, but we can put you in an energy of understanding why you need to do certain things. Like, we can't make you do it, but we're going to try to make you understand why you need to do it. So, if you're fighting this energy, like, I just want to be married, you got work to do. And we're going to try to get to your marriage. I'm still going. <laughs> but you just have a lot to do right now. And they're saying because you have, because we can't force you, we're trying to push you to the energy of understanding yourself and trying to figure out what you want and probably put you through some heartbreaks and pain so that you can be here. They just want you to progress. That's all. And now, okay, so we're manifesting. Things are growing and changes is happening, new opportunities. Summer, summer is when this is going to happen. We're going to have a new opportunity in summer. An opportunity to release the past. An opportunity for a second chance at life. You go, you're going to be in silence for a little minute this spring, okay? Because you're in pursuit of your dreams. This is this is the energy you need to be in. Um, You need... You, <laughs> So just have patience, trust in divine timing, follow your intuition, don't have confusion, make promising, uplifting choices, let your fucking past go, don't relive it, 
Don't don't go back to that nigga because you bored. That's me. That's my energy. I be so fucking bored, man. And then he just be texting me, and I be like, that's fucking Satan. That's Satan right there. That's exactly what that is. You got to raise your vibration to attract what you desire. You have to have a peaceful mind. So you, Oh, that is so strong. I felt that. You have to have a peaceful mind to attract what you desire. You have to feel secure with yourself, secure by yourself, cozy with yourself, and have faith that all is well. Once you're in that, once you're in that vibrational energy, that is when you're going to get companionship. That's when you're going to get married. That's when you're going to have an offer of marriage. You might meet somebody while you're going through this type of transitional phase. You might meet someone. But when you're completely in these four energies, forgiveness, deciding on what you want, feeling secure with yourself, and having faith that everything will be well, once you are truly secure, that's when you're going to rise above. That's when this offer is going to happen with a soulmate. Honestly, someone that is a uh, who? Oh, I just got scared. Hold on, y'all. Cause I, I don't know. I hope this is. Let me see something. What is what is this energy? What's, what's happening? Keep an open eye. It's time to disconnect. There will be some type of ascension. Stay optimistic. Forgive and learn, people. Because this person could be the one that you see. Give it a chance. Flirt. Extend your energy. This is a friend that you... You know this person. If you don't... if you, Look, look, look. It can, it's a lot of people watching this. Everybody's not going to know this person. But this is an energy of... Maybe... This is maybe, oh, god damn, what's about to happen? Okay, this is someone you know, god damn it. I hope this, mm -mm. let me stop being negative. This is probably an ex, or, um, uh, I, I feel like you know this person already. And I was, that's why I got scared, because I was like, damn, I thought this was someone new, but I don't feel like this is someone new. Because even when I was like feeling the energy of you uplifting yourself, I felt like this person was already here. Like, so the journey, so this spring is going to be the journey with yourself and somehow with you raising your vibration and, and your self-esteem and deciding on what you want and not settling for less is when this energy between you and this person is going to heighten. Now, if this is someone and you pick this file and you like, I, you like queen, I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Then this is someone new, but you're going to be, when you're going through this period of uplifting yourself, you're going to be entangled with someone. You're going to meet this person. But when you're truly at the point of like peaceful mind, forgiveness, having faith that the universe is going to take care of you, that God is going to take care of you. Cause I know God going to take care of me. I don't have a question about that. That's when you're going to get an offer of marriage. Maybe some children. It's going to be a lot of attraction here. This is someone that's probably going to start off as a friend. It says very soon. There's going to be some opening up of a person. It's going to be a renewal of some, a renewal of some type of energy. It's going to be a releasing of some type of energy. Feeling on a soulmate, feeling dependent on a soulmate, feeling like this person can be the one. Needing to have faith, having faith and just letting shit happen. Praying for what you want. Praying for that romantic energy. Praying over that romantic energy. Okay, you got to wait. This is a waiting energy. This is a growing energy. You're going to have to grow with this person. I do feel like they're going to give you an offer this year, though. If you know this person already, I feel like they're going to give you an offer of some type of committed relationship this year. Maybe even possibility of children, if that's what you want. It could be a possibility. If that is what you're seeking... But it says it is safe for you to love. It's worth the wait. And there's a lot of passion here. 
what's next real quick just let me pull like I me mean, actually you I, I think you might have to work through some things with this person while you're working on yourself as well this person might contribute to some shit you guys are kind of codependent on each other don't make, make sure that's not toxic make sure that's not make sure that's a healthy energy I feel like um, Spirit's going to change some energy up for you too. Make it more peaceful. Make it like the energy of you giving it a chance. I feel like because you have something to do with your energy right now, um, there will be a reconciliation because it keeps on saying something about children and friends and all of that. This person might have a child already. You might want to have a child with this person. You might have a baby already with this person or... You might just have children. But if you want the energy to change in this situation, I want you to pray for change. Because it's going to happen. But you got some work to do. And I feel like y'all kind of entangled with one another. It's like, is it hard to let go? <laughs> Because it keeps on saying y'all want to give it a chance. Y'all want to give it a chance. Y'all want to give it a chance. So, child. But it's also like some unrequited deception still here. So, maybe there's going to be some clarity. Some spiritual healing. Because it says it is going to be. So, your marriage. Your marriage. Your marriage. Your marriage to this person. Your marriage is going to be a journey. Um, I don't feel like it's going to be peaches and cream. Well, it might be peaches and cream because peaches, peaches and creams is a sexual thing. I don't know why I said that. Um, it might not be the easiest journey because it might have some karmic energy still with this person. And don't create more karmic energy. I just don't know about your marriage right now. I, I think you... Let me. Okay, let's ask about the marriage between these two. What's the marriage? How is the marriage going to be? Celebration. Stable. Community. Ooh, stability. Money's going to be a thing. Emotional stability. Your person's going to think about the creation of you two a lot. There's going to be peaceful time alone, though. But a lot of, like, interactions of I love you, I want to be with you, moving forward. Uh, uh, clarify that. Okay, it's going to be a lot of peace. A lot of peace, a lot of healing. Clarify this. You guys are going to sometimes conflict over where you guys want to be or where you guys want to do. It's like at times you guys are going to work together and at times you guys are not going to work well together. But there's going to be a lot of love here. A lot of love here. A lot of love. A lot of, a lot of intensity. Y'all going to have to build this from the ground up. But y'all going to have to be take a risk in this relationship. I feel like this is good. I feel like this is going to be a relationship where you guys are not going to want to leave. You guys are going to want to build. You guys are going to want to grow. A, a lot of wanting to open up as well. Elevate in some type of way. Like always constantly. It's like you guys are not. You, you guys get bored. You guys get bored. And I feel like when you guys get bored. That's when you guys are going to focus on each other the most. That sounds weird. But when you're bored. That's when. The emotions start coming out. That's when the more passion starts coming out. That's when y'all start having babies and shit. You might have a child with this person. So let me know what you think about this because this is a long ass fucking reading. Let me know what y'all think about this one. And I will talk to you beautiful people in the next one. That's your marriage. Hi, pal two. How are you feeling, beautiful people? Okay, so what are we talking about? What's the question? What do they need to know about their marriage? Okay. What do you... Oh, shit. What do you need to know about... What do they need to know about their marriage? What do they need to know about their marriage? What do they need to know? Patience. Pa patience is a fucking virtue. Oh, my God. I hate it so much. I hate having patience. That's my worst lesson in life. I hate it. 
I used to be so patient when I was a child. I remember it. I remember it because I used to talk about people that wasn't patient. I'd be like, look at this impatient um, motherfucker. They just ready to go. But now I am one of those microwave bitches and I hate waiting. <laughs> I fucking hate it. Anyways, um, change. Oh, that's going. <laughs> your marriage is going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of hope. Out of you're going to be coming out of a single. Well, of course, uh, hopefully. Well, I mean, you know, anything happens. We do go from relationship to relationship. But it says that you're coming out of the cold from being single, independent, to finding love. This is cute. This is cute. Okay. Falling in love, being happy in love, having a lot of passion. And it seems like y'all going to have a lot of passion. Y'all might argue a little bit. Um, this is going to be the type of energy where you're, gonna, you're going to have to not give up. You're going to have to constantly be in prayer. And prayer is not a bad thing. You should pray every day, honestly. You're going to need to have patience with this. I feel like when you meet this person, they might be an option to you. And it's going to be a lot of passion. You're going to really like fucking this person. If you want to fuck this person. If you don't, you don't have to, of course. But you might want to. <laughs> you might want to. Because um, you're going to feel strongly attracted to this person. You're going to feel like this person is a part of your soul family. You're going to be very intrigued with them. Uh, you might meet them through a friend. You might meet them through some type of celebration. But when you meet this person, it's going to be the type of energy of wanting to move forward, wanting to go, go, go. I feel like the reason why you're going to like your spouse is because they're going to be very romantic. They're going to talk to you crazy. Like, <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Um, it's like, oh, there it is. Look, 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 look. Fucking king of swords. I knew this person's going to talk to you crazy because that energy just came out of nowhere. And it seems like, it seems like. whatever they say to you i don't know how what type of girl or guy you are but you know me i'm very freaky so if a nigga come up to me and say something first of all i gotta like you i have to, I, I, look we have to like each other and had a sexual conversation before but it just seems like whoever this person is is gonna say some wild shit to you all the time now this might be sexual and it might not be sexual it might be something that's gonna be it's just whatever it is is gonna be very intriguing <laughs> to you it's like Maybe you're kind of bored right now, and this person that comes in, we got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, as well as Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I feel like this person's very confident. I feel like, I don't know why I got so much. I'm very jittery right now. No, I'm, I'm pretty, I was about to say, I have smoked and I've drunk my coffee, so that's a good balance. But whoever this person is, is going to be like kind of intimidating at times. But you're going to like them. You gonna like them? They gonna like you? You are definitely. It's gonna be definitely a time of, from spending a lot of time alone, to some type of change, some type of change, and I think it might be overwhelming at times. You're coming from some type of regret to love. I think you're gonna be really enamored with this person. It's like, it's like you're gonna be intrigued. You're gonna be surprised. Your person is going to be able to see your pain, though. You're not going to be able to hide your pain from this person. And I feel like they're going to be sent to you because of that reason. Six of Pentacles, the sh love card. Six of Pentacles, the love card. Hmm. You're going to fall in love with this person because they take care of you. Okay. All right, all right. 
Wal look, Walgreens be on it. Walgreens text me, they call me, they email me, they send me a notification off the app. They be on their shit. Like, I see you, Walgreens. I see you. Um, what are we talking about? Actually, I don't want to use these. What are we talking about? Marriage? Or, like, is there another question? What is the marriage going to be like? Is that, wait, what, what type of energy is that? Oh. Make sure that you stay focused on your independence because it seems like this person is going to be very overwhelming at times. It might be kind of overwhelming and kind of overbearing. This is going to be something that you asked for. It's going to be a lot of love here as well. Your person is going to love you. Your person's going to love you. But I feel like, I don't know why I heard this energy that you might feel trapped at times. So pray for a, pray, pray for, pray for what you need as far as love. That's the best advice I can give that for that. Because it don't seem like y'all going to break up and stop talking to each other. <laughs> so I'm not going to tell you ever to do something like that unless... I'd be like, mm, mm, mm. Five of Pentacles, King of Wands. I feel like when this person does come into your life and the marriage that you do have, I feel like they're going to always spark up some shit between you two. Not like some negative fighting, but like this person is very, very, very hot, hot, hot. We got the Leo Sagittarius Aries card. But at times I feel like, what is this energy? Every day is going to be peaches and cream. And I said this last time. And how one peaches and cream is a sexual thing. I don't know why I keep saying that. I don't think everything is going to be smooth as butter. Uh, there you go. That's, <laughs> that's better. I don't think everything is going to be smooth every day. Honestly. I, I feel like it's going to take a lot of strength. To be in this relationship with this person. I feel like you're going to get what you want. I feel like there will be a marriage. But this marriage is not going to be happy every day. You're going to have to work at this. It's going to be romance here, and you guys are going to want to always to charge forth with each other. But at times, you're going to feel lost and lonely. And at times, you guys are going to have to, like, take your time with each other. But this person is going to be very, very sexually charged towards you. A lot of passion towards you. And if you stay hopeful, pray for the type of love you want. There will be happiness. There will be a better energy, more peaceful times with you, too. But I just feel like this, you might feel trapped at times. And you might have to take energy for yourself and focus on yourself at times when it comes to this person. But there's going to be a family here. A lot of love. It's like you guys are not going to leave each other. <laughs> you got the two of cups. You're not going to leave each other. But there's going to be times when this person is going to push your fucking buttons. And you're going to need time to yourself. But y'all not going to leave. <laughs> y'all love each other. It's just... Sometimes marriages need time. Some It's fucking reality. Everybody's not going to get along every day, all day. It's going to It's gonna be good fucking, good fucking energy. It's going to be a lot of love here. You're going to feel very compatible with your husband or your wife. But at times, you're going to feel like you need to work, focus on yourself. And it's going to give you anxiety. And I feel like it's going to be a lot of growth. You guys are going to grow up together. I don't know if you're young or... I mean, we always are growing, of course, right? But in your marriage... I don't know if you know this person at, at all. But I'm going to just tell you, when you first meet this person, this person going to say some wild, crazy shit to you to make you your pen, you look, make your panties wet, make your dick hard, whatever you got. It's, this person is going to intrigue you in that type of way. They're going to get your attention. Always. Always. And once they have your attention, I just don't feel like you guys are going to ever stop focusing on each other. There's going to be times when you're going to be tired of this motherfucker. And they might be tired of you. 
And y'all going to need time apart, but it's never going to be like a divorce or anything. I don't feel that. At least not. At least not in y'all immediate relationship. At least for not like five years, six years. Like this is the time. That's the time for you guys. This is the energy of that time. So I don't feel like, I don't feel like a divorce. I just feel like y'all going to have issues. But shit, who doesn't fucking have issues? That's the question, okay? So if this makes any type of sense to you, please let me know. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Hi, pal three. Okay, pal three. So your marriage, your marriage, I feel like I got something to tell you. I feel like spirit has something to tell you. I'm so hungry. But I just ate already. I just, I just ate. What the hell? Uh, trust the waves you came in on. Time is running. Time is not running out. Intelligence of the universe lies within you. Light workers, star seeds, serve the world by being you. Powerful places. Activated earth. The world by being you. You'll survive this. Uh, new beginning stop embrace winter great cosmic wound what's this energy you are going through some type of transition right now you might be in isolation you might be trying to learn the world you might be in the energy of ready for activation some type of maybe you're you're ready spontaneously like maybe like you are feeling like you're ready for something out of nowhere and spirit says now is the time for you to trust the energy you have time in your life time is not running out so time is not something you need to be focused on even though i'm focused on my fucking time but for you time is not running out okay spirit says that you have time do I have to whip you? Scratch on my fucking couch. You better be lucky I'm on camera, my love. Okay, so... Spirit says now is the time for you to start serving the world by being you. Truly being you because you are a light worker. You have a lot of intelligence. And you need to trust that you are on the right path. Trust where you are being led. Because Spirit says, whatever you are going through right now, you will survive this. Like, you will survive it. You're, you're going to be fine. There's new beginnings that will be had, okay? Spirit says, even if you have to and stop and just relax, Spirit says that you need to embrace this time. It says embrace winter. So something about the winter time, maybe. Or embrace the energy of being in isolation. Because you need to work on your gifts, You need to trust. Trust yourself. Trust that you have protection. Trust that you're safe. Trust that you have loyal energy behind you. I feel like you're coming out of something. Honestly. I feel like you are at the ending. Like you have learned what you have learned. And now you need to just trust that you are going in the right direction. Okay. Okay. So, what's the question? Wrong cards. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. I get you, I get you, I get you, I get you. What's that? So, my question is, let me move this chair up, child. Who is this person that you will marry? I feel like you're going to meet somebody in the next couple of months. Three to six months. Three to six months. For some of you guys, two. Something about two. Maybe two days, two weeks, two months. Your person is very masculine. I can tell you that much. They're very, very much masculine. Masculine. And they're group oriented. They might have a lot of friends. 
This person is very strong. They might have a very strong willed will. Oh. Okay, so they're very, very strong, right? This person is all about honor. All about honor. All about uh, being truthful. All about loyalty. They might have been raised on like very strict values or something like that. But I can tell you that this person is very, very sturdy. They're not someone that's going to change often. This is someone that you have known maybe in like a previous life. I don't know if you know this person already, but you have known them before. It can be in a different lifetime, honestly. This person has a very curious nature. Very flexible, very social. Very, very social, very street smart. This person is going to speak their mind regardless. Hmm. This person's instincts is very, very strong. Very, very, very strong. They might be psychic in a way. This person has a, it's probably going to be a little bit moody as well. A little bit moody. Family is a big part of their life. Family is a very, very part, a big part of their life because they're very, very nurturing. Um, I feel like this person is very detail oriented. They take care of themselves and they pay attention to themselves and they pay attention to their life and the people that's around them. This person does not... I'm trying to get this. I'm trying to get a hold of this person's energy. It's like they're very aloof. This person's very, very aloof, very masculine, very, very sure of themselves. They, they're very loyal to their call. So if like their family needs them and they love their family, this this person, I, I, I don't want to say that they will choose their family over you because that's fucked up, right? But it just seems like if their family needs them, they're there. If you if they fall in love with you and they care for you truly, they'll be there for you always. It's that type of I got you energy. Um this person is very productive, so they're always getting shit done. This person is very much pleasure pleasure seeking. They have a lot of friends. This person is very adaptive to their environment. They're all about their lineage, so they want to have children, they want to have a family, but they're not going to breed with just anyone. Um, this person is very inventive, like they're very free. They're not going to let people try to control them. This person's too strong for that. <laughs> this person's got a strong personality. Very, very wise and very disciplined. Very, very disciplined type of energy. I don't know what this is and I, I hope I don't sound, um, racist because I'm not trying to sound racist. I just don't know how to say this. But it just seems like your person is... Somebody might be Japanese. Somebody might be Japanese. That's what I'm getting. I know everybody doesn't ja date Japanese men. But for the ones that like them, uh, that's the type of energy I'm getting from this. Look, honey, my black women, because I know some of y'all like, mm, date outside your race. They're treating us better, unfortunately. So... Don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> Don't knock it till you try it. Trust me, you might end up finding your husband. You never know. And for my black men, treat us black women better and we wouldn't have to. You know, just... I know nobody listens to me like that, so... <laughs> just saying. But whoever this person is, they're very, very responsible. This person is very responsible. Very, very responsible. Very ambitious. Okay, now let's go to the marriage. Let's go to the marriage. I'm over here talking shit. It's a truthful thing, though. It's very truthful. Sad, but it's true. Uh, for pal three. How is the marriage going to be? How is the marriage going to be for pal three? How is the marriage going to be for pal three? You're going to obsess about this person. 
You're going to have babies with this person. You're going to constantly be trying to pray for your happiness. Pray for the happiness. Pray for the happiness. You're not going to ever be bored with this person. I can tell you that much. You're never going to feel bored with this person. You're always going to feel very led to this person. But at times, I don't feel like you're going to be all the way fulfilled. It's going to be something that you're going to be anxious about. What is this energy? God damn. Oh. Please heal. Please heal before you get into this energy with this person. Please heal. Please focus on heartbreak. Please find your peace. I feel like... <laughs> and I just got this energy. Okay. This person, right? While you're in this energy of healing, because I need for you to take your time for you to build on your security, because I don't want you going into this relationship obsessing about this man and feeling fearful, or this man or this woman, and feeling fearful that they'll leave or whatever, whatever type of anxiety or worry that you have because it's saying that you're going to bring some of that into this and I don't want you to do that. I want you to fix it before you meet this person so y'all don't have to go through that shit, trust me. It's easier to do it by yourself than to do it in a relationship. Um, I was about to say. Oh, <laughs> but while you're single and alone and you're figuring this out, you're, um, I think you might start wanting to explore your sexuality. I think you might want to start exploring your sexuality. And then that's how they're going to get you in their trap. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You might end up pregnant. If you don't want to be pregnant, if you don't, if you can't be pregnant, that's not your energy. You might just end up. Hey. You you might um. Uh... Something something that y'all gonna be creating together. Something that y'all gonna be creating together. It just seems like in this marriage, you're really gonna be moving forward. A lot of things are gonna be happening in this energy, but it's gonna be a peaceful energy. It's gonna be a peaceful energy. You're gonna obsess about this person and worry about something. Something you're gonna be worried about, but I want you to fix that before you enter into this. It's gonna be a divine union. You're gonna feel very, very compatible with this person. It's gonna be very intimate and very like you guys are gonna see each other. A lot of happiness, a lot of spending time planting seeds. I feel like for the ones that can create children, you will create children with this person. I feel like y'all gonna have a lot of stuff. So in this marriage, you guys might marry and then buy houses. Uh, y'all might um, like split things together. Y'all might, it, a lot of things is gonna happen in this relationship between you two. It's not like y'all just gonna get married and then that's it. Y'all gonna create a lot of things. Y'all gonna create a family. Y'all gonna buy houses. Y'all gonna buy cars. Y'all gonna buy property. Y'all might create businesses together. Y'all gonna go on vacation. Y'all gonna do a lot of stuff. It's like a lot of things is gonna happen in this relationship. And it's gonna be a whole new phase in your life. A whole new phase in your life. It's going to be something that you want. Something that you truly, truly want. And both of you guys are going to enjoy this. Y'all going to want this. Oh, I hope this is my pal. This is nice. And this person's going to come to you unexpectedly and build you a home. Mm. Now, that can be actually them physically building you a home. Or that can be them paying for you. Get, you know, oh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Man paying for my home and then having it in my name. Oh, that'd be nice. But I'll be married. So, okay, never mind. Anyways, it seems like <laughs> it seems like it's nice because this person is going to unexpectedly come at you and build something with you. Build something for you, honestly. This is going to be what you're asking for. So, ask for what you want. This person is going to come into your life and work with you and help to relieve a lot of stress. Help you to relieve a lot of stress. 
So let me know what you guys think about this marriage is beautiful. If you want to know more about me, if you want a reading from me, all of that is on my website, lovemealways.com. Uh, tell me you guys what you think about this. And I'll talk to you in the next one.